Let's talk about why most investors fail and what you can do about it. Now, there's a seven step cycle that we go through psychologically as investors called the investor's dilemma. It starts off with a fear of the future. We're worried about what's gonna happen next, how Congress is going to affect the market or the president's going to affect the market or other countries around the world. And because we have that fear, we want a prediction about the future. What's going to happen next? And Wall Street knows that you want this prediction, so they put out all kinds of predictions. Well, what we do to figure out who has the ability to predict the future is look at past performance. Who beat the market in the past? Problem is markets go through cycles. They go up and they go down. And when we invest based on past performance, quite often we're buying high. We're buying after something has done well. And then we get overloaded with information. Everybody tells us that they're the best and they have the best research and they're the best investors ever. And we finally just go, forget it. I can't understand this stuff. I don't trust anybody. I don't know what to do. And our emotions take over. You know, we have fear that may kick in after a market downturn or greed when we see somebody that's beaten the market for a while. Our friend tells us how well they've done recently. Or maybe it's trust. You know, I've just worked with this person forever. I just trust them. And it's blind trust. Well, these emotions cause us to break the rules of investing. Instead of buying low, selling high, we end up buying high. And then we end up with performance losses. We end up not necessarily losing money, but maybe we don't get the returns that we should have gotten. Maybe the returns are lower than what the market did. And then we end up at the beginning of the cycle all over again. The only way to get you out of this is for you to become an educated investor. Know how markets work, where returns come from. You don't have to know everything, but there are certain things that if you understand them about investing, it's really hard to take advantage of you as an investor and you have a lot more peace of mind and, and a lot less stress about investing because you understand what you're doing, why you're doing it, and how things work. That's the coaching process and that is the way to drive a much better ex investing experience.